So this right here is a trigger fish. Uh, trigger fish are, are more or less southern fish, but we do get a, a small batch of them every summer in the northern waters here in New York and New Jersey. Uh, in my opinion, they're probably the best eating inshore fish. Uh, but they are a little odd, very difficult to fillet, and they don't put up much of a fight. So definitely just an eating fish, not a sporting fish. So let's uh, check out Catch and Cook Triggerfish. Enjoy. I'm still not used to Wawa, you know. That was probably my, my ninth time in one of them. It's not the same. It's, it's not, um, we only have 7-Eleven, and 7-Eleven's bad. All, yeah, the, all the internet has to What's offer. up, dude? We do a handshake and a pound. Oh, shit. You can't be very picky this time of year, unfortunately. Well, he, he had them there on Thursday morning, and they look great. Hey, the greens hold, hold up, man. It's... It, I can't put them out there. Root beer concentrate. Must be restaurant. That's it. Because they, they can't take you into the rock. Just for chafe, man. And you will break off, so you'll find yourself retying. And you'll, you'll like it a lot better if you I have the cool aid Elias and bought them. What do you think? Hooks are good for the Asian crabs. I think they're a little too yeah. small for greens. Yeah. Just drop it off to the side. So we're, we're jigging blackfish. Uh, John's set an anchor. So blackfish season's open in New Jersey. Jigs, crabs. Hopefully, you see a trigger fish or countos right here in the mix. Keep things interesting. But uh, blackfish is the main target. Uh, let a little scope out, and it'll, you'll feel a catch. That that thing screwed up our drift. Lock it up, yeah. So I'm starting with the quarter crab because. What's that jig you got? Half ounce, sir. Half ounce. Let's see if it's a. You missed one already? Nice breakfast. Nice breakfast. Yeah, of course it's sitting on top of it. So look at that. Um, look at how deep he took that jig. Uh, I'm mugging John though. That's the first. I'm, I'm already on John's spot. Nah, not really. Just gave him a good whale. Tautosh. But that's not a bad thing. Wow. But the current's going that way, so. Oh, I got my trigger. Another trigger for Elias. Nice and the camera's rolling. You can trigger King. Thing. Camera's blinking? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> you want to net Just swing them. Swing them now. But this is what we... This is the catch and cook is we want. your personal best? I'll net it. No, it's not. So they have this trigger here, right? On the they wedge deck. themselves in the... You know why they have this trigger, right? Alright. So when, it, when the have... predator's coming up at them, they wedge themselves in the rocks. So they can't... These things are like indestructible. If he shows up on time, he's pretty good. I know. That's a nice size. I'll let your other blackfish go, John. Uh, I kept the one bigger one that was anal hooked. Right? Yeah, just one in there. So I'm using a half ounce jig head and a quarter piece of crab. See, it fits nicely in their mouth. I'd say keep like the 20 inch ones. Not too big, not too small, you know? John, those are good, those triggers? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. dude, that's, that's... Once you get over cleaning them... Don't put your finger in his mouth, though. Do it. No. Why, it's like a blackfish. No. It's worse. Our don't do anything. Black don't fight you. Oh, oh, oh. Blackfish? Oh. Oh, like a fish. That was good. <laughs> it's a casting rod. One net. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Oh my god, there's our last. Black sea bass. Nice one? Yeah. Nah, a net on a sea bass. You Jersey guys are funny. Not a bad one. It's a good one. 
I don't think we're limited. Huh? <laughs> I don't think we're limited. <laughs> wow, got me in the crotch. That's the sea bass I know. You can kind of hold them like a regular, regular bass. Yeah, that's a good one. So no doubt about it right there. That's all right. <laughs> well, we, 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 all these <laughs> I know. I got. Well, I haven't had any nice ones, but. No, <laughs> oh, this is what I came for. And here, where do you want them? Yeah, you just dump them in there. Still breathing. Brack of fish. Dude, those things are incredible. They live in anything. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we have two trigger fish, right? I'm gonna try to do one, John's gonna try to do the other. Um, might get creative with the fillet method, but um, we're gonna go, the basic way is going kind of reverse. But uh, maybe we can do something a little different. We saw, we saw a photo of someone online doing a pretty ridiculous fillet job, and I'll, I'll load that up in a second. But um, I'm gonna have John try to do that. So it's pretty easy if you go the reverse way. There's actually <laughs> zero. Yeah, there's zero, zero resistance if you go in the back. Yeah, that's how tough they are. You can do that. <laughs> it's one of the few fish you can actually do that. Yeah. You're like, all right, I'm just gonna peel them. All right, that's your trigger fish fillet. That's all it is. It's not much. It's not much meat in the cheeks. There's a little bit, but um, yeah, it's a done fillet job. It's pretty easy fish to fillet after you get the hang of it. I'd say, you know, it's nothing really that crazy. But good white meat, all done here. All right, here we go. John is gonna do the reverse. I'm gonna try. See, what, uh, what are you gonna do, make the exoskeleton, or are you gonna do what I did? I'm gonna try to get uh, the skin here and see if I can skin it like that guy did. I saw that, that was very amazing looking. I don't know how he did it. We're assuming he did it like a, make another slit in the top. Yeah, these buds. The cut along the edge and then maybe I'll be able to pull it. Maybe just do the full incision like a regular yeah. fillet and then yeah. Tough as hell? Yeah, it's well, tough. I have, I have a sharpener, I have an electric sharpener. Mm. Uh -huh. Somebody else can do it, so, so, so can you. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Say, pretty yeah, cool. Wow. Look at that envelope. Wow. It did break, wow. It did break, yeah. I didn't think that skin was capable of breaking. Wow. Can you make a blue fish uh, cut? Sure. You broke the. <laughs> <laughs> sliding off me here. This is just a regular pair of catfish skinning. Oh, eyeball almost came out. Wow, this is a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I didn't realize it's gonna be so so insane. Fighting the bugs more than the fish. I know they're annoying. This is the first time I've ever seen this, though. Wow. wow. You, did you did it. You are a sick man for filming this. Why? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so combination. I just gutted it. Took out the gills like any other fish. And we're gonna cook it whole, man. This looks awesome. Thanks, John. I think it, this might be the thing now for the triggers. It's like a real. That's a new thing. It's a real day. Yeah, I just got to trim it up a little bit. You know, I got a little skin here, but that's it. You have to eat the eyeball. All right, man. Let's bring eyeball, it back to the kitchen. Eyeball catch and cook. Kind of trim it up a little bit. It's got some meat in there too, man. Look at that. All right, cool. Okay, so we're back at the house now. We're gonna have to give this fish a little trim down. 
Mainly I want to try to see if I could take this stuff off. I don't know. If I have to cook it with this stuff on, I do. But I'm not sure what to expect here, so let's just give it a try. Mm-hmm. Comes right off. Okay, so we took off all the triggers, all the things. Now, the only thing I didn't take off is the tail here, but let's see if we can get it off here. Um, yeah, we got the tail off too. Okay. No bones, no weirdness to it, no fins. All trimmed out. I lost a little bit of meat on the trigger here. Uh, that's all right, we'll stuff it in the cavity or something like that. Okay, all I'm going to do to this fish is just put a little bit of butter on it, some cooking wine. I stuffed the cavity with some fresh garlic also. Give it a nice little coating here and there, right? Okay. Just some flavor. And some pepper, right? And now we're going to put this in the oven for 15 minutes. Last five minutes, I'm going to put the herbs on them. All right, I just pulled that trigger fish out of the oven. It looks good. Mm. I'm just going to take off some of that um, thyme, rosemary, and all the other herbs. And All right, we gave it a minute to rest. Um, it is ready for me to eat. Uh, this is exciting. Uh, I never did this with the trigger fish before. It looks great, though. Okay guys, so here we go. We are gonna dive, oh man, it just comes right off the bone. It's like, like nothing else. No lemon yet. I just got a little bit of that brown butter from the tray in here. And here we go. All right, I'm gonna say it. The zombie trigger fish is the king. The king of the catch and cook. It's like no other fish you can have. It's so flaky, so mild. Perfect texture, man. Perfect flavor. Falls right off the bone. Like these bones are so dense and thick. Like I'm just plowing my fork in here and I'm not snagging up bones either. On top of being delicious, fried, it's also a perfect whole fish. I'm not going to lie, that process of skinning it, John, uh, I don't know, I, I got to try it myself one day. All right, I'm going to try the eyeball because I've never eaten a fish eyeball before and everyone says this is a delicacy, so here we go. Mm, I'm not so hot about the flavor of the eyeball. It's the only thing, it's not terrible, but it's not really my thing. But we got the cheeks here. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Catch you next week with another Catch and Cook. I hope you enjoyed this one. This one was fun to make. I can't speak highly enough about how good this fish is. This is it right here. The king of Captain Cook. My, my goodness. I wish we got more of them up here in the north, but it's so good. All right, guys, next week, another one. Tight lines. That's your leftovers of the zombie. Looks like some kind of weird dinosaur, man. Man, it was so good. I'm not lying here, guys. This was unbeatable.